bananas, you say peppers. And hello, welcome. Do you need a sippy sippy out of my straw down here? Cause I sure do. You guys, today, we're about to have a lot of fun with, I almost just compulsively said farts and crafts. Send help, farts and crafts. That's what we're doing today. Uh, I have rainbow fluffy paints. You guys, uh, Faber Castell, don't they make like uh, serious art supplies? Like the expensive stuff, fancy stuff. I have suddenly been bombarded with Faber Castell kits on Amazon. And it maybe sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not, because they have just things that sound amazing. Fluffy paint is what we're gonna try out first today, but I will go ahead and ruin a future surprise, because they also hit me with fizzy paint. So it was like an epic battle in my mind today of what should we do first, fluffy paint or fizzy paint? But they keep saying that it's like, what did they say it was like? It's like painting with fluffy frosting say no more. So fluffy paint, 3D whipped texture. So I think we have everything that we need in here to make beautiful art and also three dimensional poops. Look at that. We could also make some of those. So, ooh, <gasps> I could like be an artist with my little briefcase. <sighs> Look at that. All right, let's crack open the kits and find out what we've got. Oh, Ooh. oh my God, you guys. Okay, <laughs> am I about to tear this in a bad way? All right, we've got many, many colors. How can I make fuchsia? You guys know that's my favorite color. Isn't it blue and red makes pink or purple? Help. You know what? On second look though, this is kind of more pink IRL versus like red, but we've got this. Oh, you guys, it feels so fluffy. <laughs> it's stuck to yellow right now. We have blue and we have yellow and look at that. We have orange and we have green. Ooh, so squishy. So these are actually our paints, which I guess you do get a lot. I don't know. This both seems like a lot and not that much. Then we also get this separate packet that looks like it has a couple of tools in it as well as a silica gel packet. I'm just distracted by that now. You guys know how I hate these things. Get out of my sight. Yes, so we have uh, five pieces of black paper and this does have a little bit more of a grain to it. It feels like an art paper. And then we have like thick white poster board where it's kind of matte on one side, kind of shiny on the other side. And we have this, which is like a dot stencil, kind of cool. We have this, which I'm kind of like most excited about this because on the Amazon listing, I swear that's where I saw this. Like people were putting out a rainbow of magic fluffy paint and then they were like, <laughs> like dragging this tool through it and making it look kind of like tie dye. Anytime there's tie dye, I come running. And lastly, we have this tool, which looks really cool. So that's the other thing that I saw you could do with this is uh, to like more or less spread out the paint and like drag it across the paper. Does that make any sense? And then once you have a thicker layer of the fluffy paint, they show that you're able to like use both sides of this tool and kind of create like a white space. So you're like drawing in the paint, you're drawing through the paint rather than with the paint. I promise it'll all make sense when we do it. So you guys, I'm I'm so excited and I'm ready to get messy. So I changed shirts cause I just was seeing, <gasps> there's like all of this information written on the inside. And I guess they do say that it can stain your clothes and your hands and all of that jazz. And so the shirt I was wearing, I've had for like so many years. So I kind of like didn't want to get paint on that. But I like I like this shirt too, you guys. So what did I just do? I don't know. So let's crack it open. And oh, why did oh? I don't know why I just keep sniffing the paint. It doesn't smell good. Don't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just oh, 
These are hard to open. Ah, I realize I also need paper towels, you guys. <gasps> I thought I was prepared. Okay, um, all the bottles are now open. And um, they say that as soon as you're done using each color that you basically want to recap it really quick to keep the paint from drying out because some of them look a little crusty already. Like, look at red. Red, what have you been up to? It looks a little crusty in there. Granted, it is like 500 degrees in Texas already. So uh, when things get delivered, sometimes I just assume that they're going to get crispy in the mail, you know? So I think I'm gonna try just like the tie-dye kind of method first. So I'm gonna put a drop of the the fluffiness and then we're gonna like, you'll, you'll see. So I'm hoping I'm using the right side of the paper because if I'm being honest, like glossy, maybe it's just giving me like science fair project, like leftover anxiety from that. Because anytime I see like a glossy poster board kind of paper, I don't want nothing to do with that. Uh, so I'm going to use like the more matte side. Hopefully that's a good choice. Okay, let's squeeze some of the paint out come on paint okay it just kind of farted hello anything in there what's what's happening you guys <gasps> this is oh oh there it goes okay oh see it is a little crusty in there what am i gonna think about that oh <gasps> i have to touch it oh it feels interesting okay let's see if i can just put a dot on there that looks kind of like what they did. I hope all of them aren't gonna be. All the paints are farting, you guys. Okay. Oh, beautiful fluffy paint. I feel like I'm using both too much and not enough. Okay. What do you guys think it's gonna do? Red, it farted. There really does not feel like there's that much in there. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Give me some red puffy fluffy paint. Beautiful. Okay. Um, orange. First the fart, then the paint. Oh, no farts for orange. All right. Okay. It's looking so beautiful. I never get over that. <laughs> I never get over the initial shock. Yeah, see some of the colors seem like a little bit more pliable than the other ones. All right. Beautiful, look, should I zoom you guys in a little bit? <gasps> what? <laughs> the whole camera and tripod almost just fell over. That would have been extra magical. All right, so now we take the squiggle wiggle tool. There's like a couple different choices. Like I'm kind of like thinking we can smear it first and then squiggle it. So here we go, you guys. All right. What's happening? I'm just, oh, it's kind of like some of the colors are definitely doing a little better than the other ones. Or maybe I'm just like applying better pressure. Yeah, because now the blue looks like it's kind of spreading a little bit more. Okay. I think that they just kept like repeatedly dragging it so that the colors got kind of like mixed. And I don't know if I put them in a good order for that. Oh yeah, look. <gasps> See, the more that we kind of like spread it out like that, um, the more like blended it's looking. Okay, now I'm just making a mess. I don't know like my, is it called color theory? Because that's what I feel like I don't know at all. Because yeah, look, blue and yellow are like, I keep smearing them together to make green. So now we have like two times the green. That's like Definitely really pretty, but also a mess. And then look at all the extra fluffy paint that we have. So then I guess they're saying you can like go like that, which not that gratifying if I'm being honest. So let's flip it around, 
See if we can smooth that out again. See, I guess if you don't like what you do, you can be like, I don't think so. And just smooth it out again. You guys, I've made such a mess here. Ew. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and just do some of that. I don't know. Like, maybe I just don't understand how cool these things. Oh, <gasps> that looks really cool, though. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. The ends where I just like scraped the rainbow. That looks like even cooler than like this original, like quote unquote tie dye thing I've done. All right, you guys, you know, it would not be an art testing video if I didn't just try and sign my name. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try. Ooh, it's like, really, I like this a lot better. Like this like rainbow smushings that I'm making. <gasps> okay, yeah, I couldn't like, I couldn't resist just smearing it on my hand. That is like really pretty. That is not so pretty. But yeah, ooh, it feels like, it does feel thick like frosting. Okay, they were not lying. Um, This is a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off and let's see what it looks like on the black paper now. And what I think I'm gonna do first is just see what happens if I take, cause like, oh, I'm just like smearing stuff everywhere now. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is like so pretty though. That does not look as pretty on camera as it does in real life, you guys. Cause now I'm just like trying to grab this thing but yeah, like all these things, like, oh my gosh. Okay, I have to just try. <gasps> that looks, that looks pretty in real life. It looks like a mess on camera. Okay. Ooh. I think it almost looks better on the black paper. What do you guys think? Once again, I'm just doing some messy stuff right now. But I had too much fluffy paint left on the scraper. Oh my gosh. You guys, once again, I have like Orbeez sitting here and I just have like so much temptation to like try and paint with fluffy paint and Orbeez. <laughs> what has gotten into me lately with the Orbeez? It's like I just remembered Orbeez are like a thing that exist. I know what I wanted to try because I thought that this was like so funny. I swear this was like in the demo video of uh, the Amazon thing was they were like, you can fold it over and make like a roar shack. I was like, wait, really? What? Let's just make a fluffy roar shack. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, let's try a little bit of yellow. Okay. And what's another good one? Maybe this like, I think it actually is red. I don't know why, like a little bit in the packaging. It looked pink. Okay. Oh, those are just like the primary colors. How creative. Um, okay. Should I smear it with my fingers? I'm kind of tempted. That's what I'm going to do. <gasps> oh, it feels like really cool. Okay. Oh, red is like so much more like smooth and satisfying. Yellow is really creamy too. I love the blue, but I don't know why. It's like not spreading as easy. What is this gonna make you guys? Oh my God, okay. Then they folded it over and like smushed it all together. I'm gonna use their like little orange tool that they gave and try and like smush all the paint more. So hopefully it makes more of like an ambiguous shape. Okay, what I'm doing is squeezing all the paint out. <laughs> oh, there's the blue. Okay. Maybe I put too much paint. Let's open it up. <gasps> Ooh! Oh! <gasps> you guys, okay, I very clearly see something. What do you see? I feel like nobody does this anymore. This is just like a movie thing, right? What do you see? Cause I see a bird, right? That's like a bird 
a bird head. Wait, am I supposed to tell you guys what I see? So they say once it dries, you can really feel the fluffy texture. So I'm really excited. Hopefully I'll remember to check back in tomorrow and uh, show you guys like how long it takes to dry. Cause I mean, this honestly does seem really thick and really wet. Just like our toilet paper craft from a couple weeks ago now, I feel like we might be waiting a while for our beautiful photo. This is not a photo, our beautiful picture. But I was almost forgetting our weird little dot stencil, which I don't 100% know how this works, but hey, let's try it out. You guys, my brain almost didn't form the whole sentence past let's. Let's try it out. Um, okay, ooh, I'm making a mess. Maybe I don't have enough. Oh, there went the green paint, okay. I do and don't have enough. What is this gonna look like? I personally think like a total mess, but place your bets now. Um, and it looks like, ooh, kinda cool. Kinda cool, honestly. This is a mess. It's, it's a mess on either side, but the dots are actually kind of cool and it really is pretty three dimensional. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see that on the camera. Let's get some red and look at how pretty that is. Ew. Yellow, yes, and orange. This is like honestly so, soothing. You guys, that's what I love about these art kits is it's just like so fun and relaxing to just kind of like, <gasps> is it drying out you guys? Oh, um, anyway, it is just so fun and relaxing to just sit down and like mess with some art supplies. Is anybody else like that? You guys? Oh my gosh. Um, okay. 2.5. Let's zero in and Ooh, look at that. So see now, what if I just like move it over slight, oh, hello. <laughs> um, what if I move it over slightly and go, okay, I'm just now, I've lost the yellow. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ah, you guys, it's like every other like drag almost. It's like, um, I'm losing the yellow or bringing back the yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and like drag it the other way. I thought I could like just kind of smear all the colors together. I mean, I kind of did, you know, but um, yellow definitely got lost in translation there. What happens if I just kind of scrape it? Oh, you guys, <gasps> I feel like um, it's ruining the art, but it's like very satisfying. Look, watch, I'll do it again, okay. Oh, ooh. oh my God, you guys, I just sat in wet fluffy paint. Um, so while this camera was overheating, I kept just filming different art forms on the second camera here. I kind of wanted to try out each of the techniques, including attempting to make the rainbow poop, which I don't know if it's as impressive in real life as it is in their little video. There's kind of no way to get it like as smooth or, or at least I couldn't think of a way. Maybe I could have like swirled around it. You guys, oh my God. It's like taking all my, you know what? No, no. Okay, I have to squish it. Ah, now it's like wet paint again. Um, I have to say that is something to think about is like, I was thinking the entire time, like, oh my gosh, this stuff is so thick. It's gonna take hours and hours to dry, but it really doesn't. So I'm pretty sure when they say, be sure and put the cap back on after each use, they technically mean like squirt a little bit of paint out and then put the cap back on immediately even if you're not done with like the whole uh project because I feel like the paints did kind of start to dry out you guys I'm I'm not even gonna lie I've been here for like 45 minutes it's honestly so fun fascinating soothing it's just really interesting to see like the different color combinations and the different ways you can use the tools and even your fingers to make different patterns and pictures and I definitely see why they say it feels 
like you're painting with frosting because it totally does especially if you use your fingers or like even smush the paint down with your fingers. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to test out doing was to just make the little rainbow um, on the front. I think I did a pretty decent job. There's the example. There's my messy rainbow. Um, but yeah, in terms of drying, you guys, I thought there's no way this is gonna dry that quickly, but it still is like just a little bit damp to the surface, but it does feel like more dry than it feels wet. It's so heavy. This is like two pounds of art, you guys. Mostly I enjoy smearing all the colors together though. I wanted to try and see how close of a purple shade or a fuchsia shade I could make and that's about as good as I got. It definitely looks more purple than um, fuchsia or magenta but what is really fun is to kind of like smear the paint down and then take this scrapey tool and almost like lift layers of paint off off. You can make some really cool stuff. I got like this pencil shaving looking thing from doing that and that's almost like a totally different way. I don't know to use these art supplies. I had the most fun honestly just smearing it around with my fingers and uh, scraping it up if I'm being honest. You guys this is like one of the last things I did and it's definitely dry enough to touch. The only other thing I will say is you kind of have to be careful. They say like, ooh, feel the textures, which is fun. It is good to do that. Uh, but if you start like rolling your fingers around on it, it does kind of like start to ball up and then the paint just like rolls away. You guys, I feel like I'm just explaining everything in a really weird way. I'm trying to just make sure that I say everything. What else did I want to say? Yeah, the Rorschach stuff was super fun. Our Rorschach totally dry now. I do feel like each of them, it's more like cardstock texture. Like I was saying, the white paper is definitely heavier. So yeah, you guys, I highly recommend this. That's kind of like the bottom line. I would definitely buy this again. If you're somebody like me and you love just like the textures of art supplies and paint and stuff like that, you would love this. It's just very relaxing, very satisfying. And I feel like there's probably so many other things that you could do with this that like I didn't even think of because I'm not like an art like painting kind of person where I like know the color wheel and all kinds of stuff like that. But yeah, really, really fun and I highly recommend it. So like I said, I bought this on Amazon. There's probably other places that you can get it, but that's where I got it. And I would love to know as always, you guys thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. So let me know have you tried this out? Are you going to try this out? I would certainly repurchase. And that's it for me today. So thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!